Hello all my mystic friends. Welcome to your May the 15th through 17th weekend energy. Many blessings to you all. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your weekend and we'll see what the universe has in store for our affirmation energy. If you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. And if you'd like to see any of the other standard tarot readings, if this is your first time to this reading, this is an affirmation reading. This is about using the law of attraction and the power of manifestation to bring in what we're trying to bring into our lives. Uh, if you'd like to see any of the other readings I have, you can scroll down here. To the left, you'll see my eye icon. And when you click that, it'll take you to my home page and you can see all the free readings that I have available. And with that all being said, let's go straight into our energy here. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light they are intended. We thank you for this Divine Blessed reading and welcome your energy. Thank you so much, Divine. Let's see what's going on for the weekend. The underlier is the Justice card. The scales being very balanced. It's also the Libra Major Arcana. So focusing on balance here. We have empowerment as our top card. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. Part of being empowered is knowing that you do have a little bit to do with, uh, or a lot to do with, what, what energy you bring to the table. The energy that you bring is the energy that helps to manifest. So that's why we try to keep it very positive. We have, my intuition guides me to people, places, and jobs that I enjoy. This is very important to remember that we are innate, innately intuitive. We have the ability to answer uh, our own questions. Our inner light is our guide. So allowing yourself to pay attention to that and give that um your full authority to be able to listen to it. So you kind of have to give it permission to guide you. And the more that you do that, the stronger the messages come in. It's very, very light at first. So we've got perfect timing. Loving that, the beautiful hourglass with rainbows coming on either side, just moving through with beautiful rainbow light. We love perfect timing. That's definitely a plus. Everything in its own divine timing. Sometimes it's not our timing and we get a little frustrated, but that's okay. Perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive to be real and allow us to take a good, long, deep look at it. This is a, this is a energy of allowing yourself to sort of uh, change your focus from what you, how you would normally see something. So if you're normally, um, if your first go-to is to think of something as, as negative or bad, um, give it the chance to see, okay, well, how can I look at this in the most positive way and change your perception. And when you do that, it actually changes how you feel. It also changes the energy of what you're drawing in. So everything has two sides to every coin, right? So we want to be in a place of allowing our perception to always flip to the positive. It takes some work because we've been taught through our lives to take some negative energy. So when you have to learn to look through the glass half full rather than half empty, it takes some practice, that's all I'm saying. And this is why we're here. I am willing to forgive is our top card. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. 
Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself, and I forgive, and I set myself free. I am willing to forgive. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. We all have both energies. This is the balance. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace and all is well. So what that means is being in a place where it's, it's almost like a hormonal balance. <laughs> when your hormones are balanced, everybody's happy, right? So this is that moment of allowing your energy to balance. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. We all have masculine and feminine. Uh, the, the masculine is the go, 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 get it done, aggressive kind of energy. And the feminine is more of the nurturing, uh, try to make sure everybody's okay, and that kind of energy. So we have to, overdoing one or the other always throws us out of balance. So the masculine and feminine sides or parts of me are in perfect balance, and I am in harmony. I am at peace and all is well. So harmony it is. Here we go. We have the four of wands. This is very strong stable energy talking about having you know the top and the bottom here. So you're in the in the place of comfort zone okay and in a place of safety because it is very secure and stable. Good communication uh, and very tightly knit family unit or work unit. We have the King of Pentacles, which is awesome. This is King Midas. This is someone who's willing to, uh, the, they're using the word sponsor you financially. <laughs> so this is that energy of making the commitment. Uh, King Midas is here to help get you to the place of security financially that you need to be at. And we have the Strength card, which is the Leo Major Arcana. It brings in the energy of being assisted by the universe. And this is also in my uh, standard tarot cards, this is talking about Archangel Ariel, who is the Lion of God. This is the energy of being focused and keeping yourself moving toward the target. Not looking at anything else, just keeping yourself going. Through what come what may, we still keep our eye on the prize. So this is really strong uh, reading all together. Taking the look from the, from the positive, allowing yourself to see your balance within within yourself masculine and feminine energies it's not talking about sexuality here just for anybody who doesn't understand that it's talking about your energy force within your body the yin and yang the masculine and feminine that is what that is so it's telling you this is where we are coming into this beautiful um, kind of a crescendo as it is to allow yourself to get to achieve that balance and allow yourself to stay there in your in your pursuit of your goals so this is very positive energy for the weekend many blessings to you all have a wonderful day i'll see you again soon namaste